obviously not this physically taxing, but rest assured that this engineering boot camp will challenge even the brightest engineering professionals. This five day intensive hands on training compares to none other. Take a look. Instructors have very practical knowledge. They've been in the industry for a while. Every example they give is um, very applicable for what really goes on inside of a plant. ISA has been uh, known for some time now as a center for you know, standards. People have come to see ISA as a place where controls and automations have evolved over the years. Coming to see the people who really formulate the standards themselves uh, really has been quite uh, motivational. It's been a reason, a huge um, reason for coming out here. seemed like a good jump start to getting into the field of controls so that really interested me. It's a good course for anybody who's looking to get more knowledge about control, the control technical side. Um, if they're new to it it's probably better for them. It goes over a lot of topics but it does them in such a way that you learn a lot from it. instructor who has done real things, who's not, who's not spent his whole career just teaching, but he's actually done projects and can relate real life experiences all along the way. I'm Nick Sands, I'm a, a professional engineer, a certified automation professional, an ISA fellow, and I'm the instructor sometimes for the Automation Engineering Survival Training course. It's a course that we specifically developed to try to help new automation professionals, folks that are new in their career, early in their career to automation and it covers a wide range of automation topics. So we spend a lot of time at the beginning around instruments, go into different types of instruments and symbologies, valves, tuning. We go into some safety topics, uh, HMI, alarm management. HMI stands for Human Machine Interface. Uh, safety instrument and systems, even a little bit on uh, instrument in hazardous locations. We also touch on to uh, networks, network security, a little bit of project management, batch control systems, uh, manu manufacturing enterprise integration, this is networking between systems, and a little bit of um, professional development. 